In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Please be seated. It is the day of joy, a day of gladness. It is the jubilee of our dear sister Maria Deepa, celebrating 50 years of a commitment of saying yes to God's call. On this grace-filled and auspicious day, I stand here on behalf of the entire AC family to welcome you all to this Jubilee celebration. I warmly acknowledge the presence of our beloved Bishop Emeritus Salvador Lobo a loving welcome to you, your grace. This day is blessed by the graceful presence of three brothers, three sisters, three sister-in-laws, three sisters-in-law, niece, nephew, and cousin of the Richard of Archibaldian. I joyfully welcome you all. With much love, I acknowledge the presence of our provincial superior, Sister Maria Diksha, and her team. Fathers, our sisters from various communities who have come to participate in this joyous event. We are all gathered around this Eucharistic table to thank, acknowledge, and celebrate 50 years of our loving service between the Lord and our dear sister Maria Deepa and her dedication and commitment in the service of the Lord for 50 years. Dear sister Maria Deepa, you have heard God's voice to you in your heart as he called you to be his own. You have experienced refreshment on the fountain of Carmel. You have tasted the joy of his sacred presence. We are here to express our love, appreciation, and thanks to you, dear Sister Maria Deepa, for all that you have accomplished in the vineyard of the Lord in different places in our own country and abroad to the people of various cultures. Sister Maria Deepa is the eldest among the ten children of late Mr. Benedict Braganza and late Mrs. Mary Rodriguez was born on 6th of March 1950. After her initial education, she joined the Apostolic Carmel in 1969 and made her first profession on 13th of January 1973 and final profession on 13th of April 1978. After completing her graduation and later post-graduation, she taught in different schools. Her service in East Africa for 12 years was greatly appreciated by the Africans. Sister Maria Deepa was the directress of the novices for nine years in the Eastern Province and five years as postulant directress in East Africa. She took the responsibility as the animator of various communities and as the head of the institution in Carmel School, Rorkela. Sister Maria Deepa had a special touch of love in everything she did. <coughs> she is an expert in caring and teaching the little children. She is a lover of nature and has a special knack for gardening. Flowers bloomed and the trees grew with her special touch. Her love for the poor is very great. The people remember her with gratitude 
and love her for all that she has done to uplift them. Pope Francis reminds us that we are all entrusted with a mission. <coughs> Find the Lord who comforts like a mother and comfort the people of God. From the joy of meeting the Lord and his call flows into the service of church's mission. To bring men and women of our time the consolation of God to bear witness to mercy. This is what we celebrate as we recognize and honor our Jubilean Sister Maria Deepa. We offer this Holy Eucharist with grateful and sincere hearts, offering to the Lord the intentions of our Sister Maria Deepa. May the Lord reward your dear departed parents and bless your brothers and sisters for having offered you to this his service in the Apostolic Carmel family. Dear Sister Maria Deepa, all the years of service you that you rendered has turned into golden years of religious life. May these golden years be turned into diamond. This is our prayer and wish for you today. With this introduction, we begin praying for Sister Deepa very specially. Her, pa her parents who are in heaven, her brothers and sisters who are present here and are not present, and at the same time, her batchmates are here except one. We pray for all of them that. This Eucharist may give them strength to live in Christ, through Christ, and with Christ. To be worthy of this celebration now, let us recall to our mind our sins and our shortcomings and be sorry for them. I confess to you, my brothers and sisters, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O Lord, Holy Father, graciously confirm the resolve of your servant, Sister Deepa and her companions, and grant that the grace of baptism which they desire to be strengthened on this golden jubilee may produce in them its full effect, so that they may render due worship to your majesty and spread with apostolic zeal the kingdom of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. from the book of Isaiah. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the offspring of Abraham, my friend, you whom I took from the ends of the earth and carried from his father's corners, Saying to you, you are my servant, I have chosen you and do not cast you off. I do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. Yes, all who are incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. Those who strive against you shall be as nothing and shall perish. You shall seek those who are contended with you, contended with you, but you shall not find them. Those who are against you shall be as nothing at all. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, do not fear, I will help you. The word of the Lord.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet, I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown in the oven, will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith. Therefore, do not worry, saying, What we will eat, or what we will drink, or what will we wear. For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord's Gospel be to you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Dear fathers, brothers and sisters, Sister Deepa, he is with us, with the companions, that is her no, novitiate companions, to sing praises of the Lord for the wonders he has done in her life. In the name of all of us who are present here, I want to congratulate her and other sisters, that is, Sister Mari Castrino, Sister Deepika, Sister Maria Catherine, Sister Celestine, and Sister Helen Saldano. Today, Sister Deepa is thanking God for all the wonders He has done in her life. In the introduction of the Mass, we have heard of all that, all about the intimacy with the Lord she had in her life and in her work. In the introduction, we have also, we are also told that. She has tasted the joys of his sacred presence and she has heard the voice of the Lord speaking to her. In the first reading, Prophet Isaiah reminds us all those who are called and chosen, fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will give you strength, I will bring you help, I will uphold you with the right hand of my justice. How true it has been in the life of Sister Deepa. She has been fearless in her life and uphold the truth and the love of God. She had realized that a self, a self sacrifice to be real must cost must hurt and must one must empty her oneself. She gave herself fully to God. She used her to accomplish great things. As she realized that the Lord was with her, she developed an intimacy with the Lord that gave her boldness to walk with commitment to the Lord and today 
Be glory to him because of that. In the gospel passage that we have just now heard, Jesus tells us not to worry but to cast all our faith and trust in him. Yes, ask you shall receive, seek you will find, and knock. The door will be open to you. <coughs> Sister Deepa had given primacy to prayer just because of that. A prayerful life made her to make a complete surrender to God and trust in Him fully. The result. She lived a life of joy. She gave to joy to the people confidence to the people. Today what we see in the world around, many people are depressed. And that has entered the walls of the religious life too. Depression takes, uh, takes heart of many, many people. Reason is just simple. People don't trust in the Lord. People do not surrender or don't make the total surrender. Then different problems pop up. And of course, we think that we are crushed. We cannot proceed. The Lord's hand is always with us. We know that. Yet we lose sight of that and we think that we walk all alone. Today the Lord is calling us to trust in Him, place our trust and walk with Him at every step. Life becomes beautiful, life becomes filled with love and for this what do we do? It is true, we have our religious life, we have our priestly life. We have Jesus Christ who lives with us, lives in us and also lives through us. Yet we need okay, even external helps. One of the help that I very often give to the people is develop a very good hobby. And Sister Deepa, apart from counseling and talking to the people, guiding the people, also has developed hobbies of loving the nature. Pope Francis again and again, who in Laudato Si and other documents tells us that we must be close to the nature, then we shall be always close to God and to Jesus Christ at his heart. Sister Deepa is showing us a way to trust fully in the Lord and then make our life happy and cheerful. When I was in Thakur Pukur, she was in Thakur Pukur too. And later on, I had a little glimpse of her life. Always calm, cool, fully trusting the Lord and showing that she is walking with the Lord. And then she had no worries, no sorrows to express. Maybe that she had, I didn't say, yet what I saw was, it was always a joyful life, very quiet, calm. Her novices tell that she never gets angry, I don't know. Right, you have learned to live, you have learned to be joyful, you have learned to trust in the Lord, as may the golden steps of that you take today rather lead you to diamond and platinum and all the time keeping the goal before you and the mission of doing good before you. People who do not see the mission, they see the darkness. People who see the goal before them, keep the mission before them, they walk always in light and make this goal that you have 
lead you to the coming days with joy, happiness, fully trusting in the Lord. And therefore, may the total surrender that we have made help you to make it totally complete as you approach these golden years with love and care, not only for the people, also for the nature, so that you remain what you are today. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, most loving Holy Trinity, I kneel before you to express my deepest gratitude to you for the marvels you have worked in my life for the past 50 years. You have held my hand and walked with me. You have been my light to show the way you have carried me when I felt weary and weak. You protected me under the shadow of your wings. Loving Father, what can I give you? What can I bring to you? What can be sung in praise of your name? For the things you have done, my words cannot tell, not even in past, part the debt of gratitude I have in my heart. Thank you for choosing me to be your own even before I was born. Knitting me together in my mother's womb, giving me loving parents, brothers and sisters who made your love visible and real to me. You surrounded me with persons who cared for me <coughs> and made me feel I am special and unique. I cannot thank you enough for the gift of my vocation to the Apostolic Carmel, for my formators who accompanied me, my superiors who nurtured me, my friends and companions who challenged me, the poor and the needy who taught me and my students who gave me the identity of an apostolic Kamal teacher. In spite of such great love, at times I lost focus and searched for leaky cisterns that could hold no water. You have indeed a good shepherd who came in search of your lost one carried me in your on your shoulders and kept me close to your heart. Being aware of the poverty of my response in the past and trusting in your infinite mercy and goodness, Sister Maria, I, Sister Maria Deepa of the Sacred Heart, to renew the vows of chastity, poverty and obedience which I made on the day of my first profession. Through the practice of the vows, I promise to live a life of love and simplicity, a life of detachment and dependence, a life of total attention to the voice of God, and a life of service to God's people and the church. For this I rely on the Holy Spirit who by his power with me is able to do infinitely <coughs> more than I can ask for or imagine. I ask this through Christ our Lord and in union with Mary, a mother of Kamal. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our Pope Francis, for the bishops, priests, and religious. May all be filled with your spirit and imitate the Good Shepherd in their love and care for the flock entrusted to their care. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our congregation and every sister. Fill us with your Holy Spirit to fulfill our mission with love and compassion. We also pray for vocation to religious life 
and priesthood. We pray, Lord, Lord, on this day, with immense joy and gratitude, we bring to your care our dear sister Maria Tipa. Lord, you let her on the road less traveled, and we ask you to continue leading her as she journeys forward. We pray. We pray for the family members of Sister Maria Tipa, especially her brothers, sisters, and all those who are present here. That the Spirit of the Lord may abide with them and bless each one of them with his graces and blessings. We pray. Lord, on this auspicious day, we pray for our main celebrant, Bishop Emeritus Salvador Logo, and all the concelebrants. We are grateful to them for offering this Eucharist meaningfully. Lord, bless their priestly ministry abundantly. We pray. Lord, bless all of us gathered here participating in this Eucharistic celebration. May your Holy Spirit fill each one of us to continue your mission of love and peace. We pray. Lord, these are our prayers. Accept them. <laughs> Accept also other prayers which are deep within our hearts, remain unexpressed for whatever reason it be. Through the same Christ of the Lord. Amen. sacrament of redemption, filling with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, those whom with the Father's care you have called to imitate more 
more closely to it in your son who lives and reigns with you forever and ever we confess with living faith and is coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we are clean <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me." The mystery of faith. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Archbishop Thomas, Bishop Salva Globe, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph and Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
my heart is filled with gratitude to god for many spiritual and material blessings received from him during my life's journey i thank your grace emeritus salvador lobo for offering this holy eucharist and for your inspiring homily you have made this day a memorable one in my life thank you fathers for praying for me i thank our parish priest <coughs> father kanoj and father jonas for your prayerful support and your presence fills my heart <coughs> and the priests of this parish here father sunil and the others i thank you for your presence and giving me greater joy <coughs> i thank you sister maria diksha my provincial superior and your team for your concern mm -hmm. and thoughtfulness to make this occasion a joyful one I thank you sister Anjana and the community of the provincial house for all that you have done little and in great ways to make this day a happy one for me dear sister Rajini I also thank the beautiful choir the hymns chosen everything made me happy and joyful Dear Sister Rajini, my superior, and all the members of the community, for you have put in hard work to make this day a fruitful one. I remember with gratitude who helped me to grow in my religious vocation. You, dear sisters, Mary Castellino, Maria Catherine, Deepika, and Celestine Lobo. we have been together during our formation period your presence adds beauty to this celebration thank you very much my warm thanks to you dear sisters who have taken a lot of trouble to be present here thank you for your prayers and support i thank you dear friends and well wishers for your loving presence which gives me greater joy i thank you too i thank you julius and vidya stanley and greta vinay and sheryl martha jacinta veena sara and snigel for you have contributed so much by your prayers and support to seek the path that i chose to follow you may god bless each one of you on behalf of all the braganza family i take this opportunity to first and foremost to thank god for choosing a flower from the braganza family to work in his vineyard then we also thank your grace emeritus salvador lobo a uh, provincial superior uh, sister maria diksha then all the other brothers the priests fellow priests and the sisters present here may god bless you in your priestly and your religious ministries to work and do more in the vineyard of the lord we thank the choir who have taken great efforts and beautifully arranged beautifully sang the hymns and made this occasion a memorable one i would like to thank sister kavita for making all the arrangements and we would really remember the stay in our life all throughout lastly thank you each and every one for being here for gracing this occasion for giving us also the opportunity to come all the way from bombay and from bangalore to be here present here today we also miss the ones who are not here with us today 
especially the parents of Sister Deepa. I am sure they must be showering their blessings from above and it must be a joyous occasion for them too. Thank you once again. Let us pray. May we be filled with joy, O Lord, by today's celebration of solemn golden jubilee and the reverent reception of the divine sacrament. Grant, we pray, in your mercy that the two, twofold devotion may stir with burning charity the hearts of your servants to serve the church and human family through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads for God's blessings. May God who inspires and brings to completion every holy design <laughs> guard you always with his grace that you may faithfully live the rest of your life and discharge your duties of your calling. Amen. Amen. May God make you partakers of divine charity and its witness and sign before all nations. Amen. May God graciously make last, lasting in heaven the bonds by which he has united you in Christ. Amen. On this earth, Amen. 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 And may Almighty God bless you who are gathered here for this sacred you for this sacred Eucharist and the Golden Jubilee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God.